you do not need a man to pay your bills but you do need a man to help raise your children yes i said it and let me make it clear i am not a feminist okay i love men but one thing we have to have clear is that men do have value men do add value to your children i don't care if it's your brother your uncle your friend the pastor from the church your ex-husband your ex-boyfriend your boyfriend whatever it is they do have value but don't try to use men just because you want financial support men you need to respect them in order for them to respect you and your children. If you continue to blame others for the things that are happening to you, for your challenges, for your circumstances, for not getting the right job, because your ex is being a fool, because, 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 guess what? Your kids are going to do the same and they are not going to be raised healthy because their mentality already is destroyed by your negativity. So my goal here is to help you understand that if you continue to play the blame game, you are going to lose. And the most important thing is that your children are going to lose. You are responsible for your life. And guess what? Your life is your children's life. So you have to think carefully. You have to make better choices. That's the reason why I tell you, choose your path. I again, choose your path. Your path does not have to be the same path of other women, other single women, or looking at what other married women have. Your path is your decision but in your path it's not all about you your kids are included when I understood that when my child was when I was pregnant with my child and I understood that every decision that I made was going to affect my child that's when I started thinking about my choices that's when I thought started thinking about the path I was going to choose some of them required sacrifices. Some of them required me to shed some tears. Some of them were amazing. They were so beneficial. I laughed, I succeeded, but I did it with always walking, understanding, and thinking about my children, no matter what I did. I want you to think about that, ladies. No matter what you do, your children are your responsibility. And if men are listening to this video, they know that is true. Your children should be number one in your life. That's the reason why many men are talking bad about you because your priority is your children and that should never change. Your priority is your children. As long as you are a single mother, your priority are your children. But in order for your children to reap the benefits and be successful, you have to be successful. You have to have a healthy mindset. You have to stop the blame game. You have to take responsibility for your life. And you have to clearly understand, clearly understand that you do not need men to pay your bills. But you do need men to help you raise your children. I am not a feminist. I am definitely not a feminist. I love men. I love my son. And I think men are very valuable because with, without, without, repeat, repeat, without a man, I won't have kids. Without a man, I won't be a single mother. Without a man, I won't be blessed. So, if you were a single mom by choice or by circumstances, whatever it is, you needed a man. Even if that man gave a sperm, or even if you took it away from him, or 
even if it was just something that happened because you were not ready and it happens you still had a baby with a man we are not at that stage yet where they are making up babies because whatever they are doing they are using the sperm of a man to create babies so please let's stop lying to ourselves acting like if we don't need a man in our kids life my dad was not in my life because he chose not to be in my life would i have loved for him to be in my life yes would i have loved for him to walk me down the aisle when i was getting married yes would my son have loved to have his dad watch him play football yes would my daughter have enjoyed seeing her real dad there at her graduation yes did it happen no would i have liked it for it to happen yes so please ladies admitting acknowledging that a man is very beneficial in your life for your children does that does not make you a weak woman it makes you a strong woman because you understand that you are powerful acknowledging your weaknesses you are powerful acknowledging what you are able to do and what you cannot do you are powerful acknowledging that your kids are valuable to you and you are going to do everything that it takes for them to be healthy and successful making sacrifices making sacrifices i will be talking about that more but i just wanted to make a condensed video and let you know that you are not alone choose your path you are powerful and stop talking bad about men you slept with them you have babies with them acknowledge that and respect them so that they can respect you